He knew it just a little bit. The ball went down midfield, but they recycled it very, very well. One on one. He's a big, big man to stop. Oli LaRue drives on for the Babas. Five metres short for Michael Classens to Stephen Largan. Little dummy run by Turla Nui. Here's Leslie Vinacolo. Vinacolo goes again. Brutally difficult to bring down. Michael Classens interception by Rob Carney. And that's OK. Carney, man inside. And the man inside is possibly the quickest player in the field. But he's caught. Great covering there by Anessi. And this is real Babas stuff from Alan. It's Paddy Wallace. Wallace gets support from Shane Horgan. Shane Horgan goes. And it's a journey from the centre of the earth there. From Alan. One goal line to the next. A second try for Horgan. A third try for the Irish. Well, they were made to work much, much harder for it than they thought they had to when Tommy Bow got it in his hands. You know, great vision. Carney just took it. You thought he was away on his own, but once Tommy Bow got it, you thought he was under the post. How quick must Anessi be? But great composure from Ireland. They knew they had breached that defence, just managed to recycle the ball. Again, Horton could have passed the ball outside, he had two men outside, but the gap opened up. And uh, with, with 24 minutes on the clock, I mean, the greatest compliment you could give this Irish side is that they have been the ones within a structure and within a pattern that have produced the Barbarians rugby. You know, big ambition, big defence, and uh, you know, a big performance so far. Conversion from Paddy Wallace. Yeah, 20 tries uh, Shane Horgan has for Ireland in an official cap internationals. He's got several in uh, uncapped games like this one, including a try against the Babas in 2000. He's one of the five survivors from that game. But you thought Tommy Bow was away here. And Anessi, a man who broke his neck last year, showed remarkable pace to cover. But from then on, the handling was excellent. Yeah, and Bow also, I mean, he knew that he was under pressure from Anessi and managed to get the ball away.